Welcome back to our What's Next in 5G series. So far, you've heard about the leap to 10 gig 5G and breakthroughs in our modem RF systems. Now, I'm with my colleague Gautam Sharon, Senior Director of Product Management. Gautam leads our modem chipset products addressing mobile broadband needs in all segments from laptops to fixed wireless access. He will talk about what Qualcomm Technologies has been working on to address an ever-increasing need to bridge the digital divide better internet access and connectivity. And he will also share how our newest offerings can revolutionize broadband connectivity with 5G. Hi, Gautam. We all understand the power of being and staying connected. Just think back 20 years ago, 10 years ago, or even five years. How did we do it? Today, we'd be so lost without our phones. To be honest, I worry less if I can't find my kids because if I have my phone, I know where everyone in my family is. These devices have become an extension of our daily lives, of ourselves, and we rely on them to do almost everything. But it's not the same in all parts of the world, or even all parts of one country. 2020 showed us what lack of dependable internet connectivity and speeds can mean. It became even more obvious by the pandemic's forced adoption of remote learning and working. The connectivity divide truly needs our attention. I work with a nonprofit organization in Southeast San Diego and have witnessed children taking a huge step back in their learning, either because they don't have good connectivity or because the technology literacy to make it all work reliably is simply not there in their household. You're absolutely right, Vinita. And I know we both felt this need ourselves as we moved to work from home in March. In my house, for most of the day, we have four of us continuously online, doing Zoom calls for school and video conference meetings for work on Teams and later in the day, streaming videos for entertainment. The need for quality connectivity and the speeds literally hit home in the first few weeks, and we had to upgrade our internet speeds. But even after the upgrade, we still have a maximum of about 10 megabits per second for uplink, which sometimes is not enough. And while our experience was one of inconvenience, there are still lots of regions and people who aren't connected to the internet at all. In fact, nearly one in three people worldwide still don't have access, and many who do lack reliable internet service. Frankly, although we have technologies like cable and fiber that can technically be rolled out to everyone, it will take years before it can provide ubiquitous connectivity. Not to mention the cost and time-consuming challenges that come with last-mile deployment of these technologies. That's why making 5G fixed wireless access a commercial reality is so important to Qualcomm Technologies. And we are so proud that we are leading the industry in this effort. In 2019, we announced the first generation Qualcomm 5G fixed wireless access platform to move the needle in simplifying the deployment of fixed wireless access devices. So far, it's been adopted by more than 30 global OEMs. In 2020, we worked with operators and technology companies to achieve a record distance of more than seven kilometers, that is four miles, over 5G millimeter wave with gigabit speeds. We saw great momentum in deploying and launching 5G fixed wireless access from US, Europe, Australia, and Latin American operators. Given the tremendous adoption of 5G fixed wireless access services worldwide, we continue to drive new technologies to support fixed wireless access. First, we knew we wanted to expand internet access and choice for consumers but we also wanted to give operators greater deployment flexibility. Our newest technology does exactly that. We just announced a second generation Qualcomm 5G fixed wireless access platform powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 modem RF system and featuring Qualcomm QTM 547 extended range millimeter wave antenna module, sub six gigahertz supports with eight receive antennas, a world's first, and support for Qualcomm dynamic antenna steering technology. The QTM547 millimeter wave antenna module delivers extended range solution for 5G fixed wireless access and expands the capability of the Snapdragon X65 5G modem RF system. It delivers a comprehensive modem to antenna platform for high performance 5G millimeter wave customer premise equipment designs. This allows all manufacturers to make 5G fixed wireless access devices faster and more cost effectively. The new millimeter wave antenna module for fixed wireless access offers highly flexible configurations 
that support different power classes mandated by regulators worldwide. This means we are enabling our customers to rapidly develop a diverse set of product portfolio that is compatible to the requirements of every major region around the world. So this is a truly global solution. I know we are also tackling the problem of facilitating a quicker time to market for our OEMs. What do you think, Gautam? Can you show that to our viewers? Well, since you asked, I do have something pretty exciting with me today. To support product development based on latest 5G fixed wireless access platform, this is a second generation Qualcomm 5G fixed wireless access platform reference design. We know by making it easier for our customers to develop the next generation of 5G products and services, it will help fulfill our commitment to accelerate the deployment of 5G fixed wireless access. The 5G fixed wireless access platform is a comprehensive solution for delivering unmatched coverage and data speeds that break through the 10 gigabits per second barrier. And with this innovation, we are going to take 5G fixed wireless access to the next level with the newly announced Snapdragon X65 5G modem RF system, the new millimeter wave antenna module, and eight receive antennas for sub six gigahertz. I know we have had lots of discussions on the design with eight receive antennas. We cannot always guarantee that everyone's home will be located very close to a cell tower. So it is important that a fixed wireless device is able to get reliable connectivity even when it is located far away from the base station. 8RX antenna design does that by handling even very small and attenuated signals very efficiently, which goes a long way in ensuring that we get closer to bridging the connectivity divide. Tell us a little bit more about the specifics of this design, Gautam. Absolutely. With extended range millimeter wave and eight receive antennas for sub six gigahertz, the new reference design can provide network operators with coverage and capacity improvements. It will also enable them to enhance consumer experiences, especially in environments with challenging radio conditions, like the ones you mentioned. The reference design also offers unrivaled spectrum aggregation and dual connectivity capabilities including millimeter wave sub six gigahertz aggregation. Device manufacturers can now address multiple operator needs as they look to utilize all the spectrum assets. This means improved network performance, unsurpassed user experience, and expanded fixed wireless broadband coverage. Not only that, but our Gen 2 platform also offers unprecedented deployment flexibility to operators and device manufacturers. With Qualcomm, dynamic antenna steering technology, the millimeter wave antenna module is dynamically rotated, allowing it to receive the strongest signal and achieve the best performance. This will help operators and service providers reduce installation costs. It will also accelerate the movement towards self-installed plug and play fixed wireless access devices. These are exciting announcements, Gautam. Thanks for sharing your updates and insight about Qualcomm's role in bringing mobile connectivity to everyone in this world. With our rich and expanding portfolio of solutions, we will keep driving 5G expansion and adoption to help our customers and partners offer the best mobile experience to consumers. We do this by looking ahead and innovating for the future. To hear more about that future, join us for episode five. You will meet John Smee, VP of Engineering and our 5G R&D lead. He will address how Qualcomm Technologies is advancing 5G technology research for the new decade and beyond.